Hi, we're Richard and Jackie from Early Retirement Wonderlust. And we are heading to Scotland because we've got a four week road trip in our camper van around the Northern Isles of Shetland and the Orkneys. So as Richard said, we're heading north up to Scotland to the Shetland Islands and so far the trip has been an absolute delight. For the last three road trips we've headed down to Dover and the roads, particularly the M6, have been horrendous. This time we've driven through the Yorkshire Dales to get on the motorway at the Lake District and it has been beautiful. And we've still got all the way through the Scottish Lowlands to go. So we are planning on having a bit of a break and staying overnight at the Kelpies because our ferry is actually tomorrow night but us being us we want to give ourselves plenty of time. The ferries only go I think either every day or every two days so we definitely don't want to miss it um, and the Kelpies is hopefully a great stop off so we'll see how we go.
been a really quite remarkable journey up and we can't quite believe relatively how easy it's been over the last couple of days. Yeah, going down to Dover, it's horrendous. It takes us hours and hours caught in traffic. I don't think we've been caught in any traffic at all. We stopped for the night at the Kelpies, which was absolutely fantastic. They've moved the park up so you can park right outside the Kelpies now and it's got toilets, it's £12.50 a night, and you get a free cup of coffee in the morning. It's just really nice to see a local community doing something like that, and it was really popular with the motorhomers. We definitely use it again, because it's an ideal stop-off in terms of distance for the Highlands, it's just about halfway for us, and it just felt really safe, and being able to wander around the Kelpies at the middle of the night, or first thing in the morning, was just an absolute gift. Oh, the Kelpies were just stunning. When you go at night, the light show inside them changes. Um, my favourite colour was the blue kind of selection of colours. So after leaving the Kelpies, it was about a two and a half hour drive up to Aberdeen and we broke it off a little bit by stopping off at Dunnata Castle and had a bit of a picnic there. It was a blue sky morning, which in the weather that we've had in the UK this last few weeks was quite a surprise. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was so beautiful that we had to actually change into shorts, which was not <laughs> what we were expecting on this trip. The ferry trip has been absolutely fantastic. We've been really lucky. It is a really calm crossing. We boarded at seven o'clock and we went straight to the dining hall and we had the most gorgeous meal. Yeah, we've got a beautiful little cabin. It's great. It's everything you could want. It's a little bit more than what we could want because we've got an actual view. So an outside cabin, not quite sure what we did to deserve that. But the most alarming thing is what it must be like in winter because there's warning signs all over the place about rough crossings and things like that. I'm not entirely sure whether I'd be ready to cope with that in the winter but it's been fine on this one. And I've actually had the most amazing night's sleep. Um, it's got little twin beds in the room, uh, it's got tea and coffee making facilities so we're up and ready to go as soon as we get to the island. And more importantly it's got an ensuite so I think that's probably the suitable segue to do a little bit of an unusual rate my shower. So the ensuite arrangement is a little bit unusual for Rate My Shower. As you can see, top marks for cleanliness, but the unusual feature of handrails for rough crossings when you're having a shower, a nice touch, lots of storage surfaces, and a lovely feature of an antique hairdryer. Potentially a nod to naval traditions, but a bit of a lack of space within the shower. But lots of hot water, a powerful shower head, and absolutely no limit on time of hot water. Just another quick look at the rough weather provision. Really good hanging hook options. So in summary for Northlink ferries, a strong performance as you would expect from any ship. Everything that you could need including hot water and cleanliness. But unfortunately it was a little bit let down by the space in the shower area and the subsequent spillage of water out of the shower area and the poor drainage performance. So overall, a really respectable score of 41 out of 50, but it has to be noted, it's not your usual campsite facility. The weather forecast today on the Shetland Islands is really good. It's supposed to get to a high of 16, which actually is high for the Shetlands. And we are heading straight down south because I have got a date with lots of puffins that I'm going to see dancing on the shorelines, hopefully. Yeah, I think expectations are high. Not quite sure how we're going to meet with those because it's just about coming to the cusp of the uh, end of the puffin season. So we'll just keep fingers crossed.
So as you've probably seen from the video, we got off the ferry and we did head straight south. And the weather really wasn't that kind, but it just booked up over the course of the day and just got better and better and better. And we've had the most amazing day. We are at Sumberhead, which is one of the most southerly points that you can get to on the Shetlands. And we have indulged ourselves in a little bit of wildlife. But we're going to save all of that for the next video. So that's it from us and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.